Hi Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a spirit guide message reading for you on overcoming obstacles and overcoming feeling overwhelmed. This is such an intense time in our world, and I feel like this is just so needed. So if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It's all the things that YouTube likes, so thank you so very much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. So what's really interesting here is that we end with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands reversed. So we have this gift from God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe coming in. It's a gift of passion. It's a gift of creativity. It's a gift of fire. It's a gift of intensity. It's reversed. Like we're not, we're reversed. We're not taking it yet. So just be mindful about that here, that this gift is coming in and we're having a really hard time seeing our own magic, seeing ourselves. We are right now, the, the five of pentacles, we feel like we are on the outside looking in to everything that we want. I'm just seeing, you know, those, the movies when like the little kids are, are like, you know, like at the outs on the outside and they look into a, a really rich, posh, you know, house that's laying out like all this glorious food and they, they live on the streets and they're just like, their mouth is drooling over it. That's what I'm seeing here with that. It's like, I don't get to have that. And I so desperately want it. That's not true. We do get to have it. We are not barred from having what we desperately want. Okay. It might come in different packaging than we thought it would. It might look a different way or come at a different time than we thought it would. But the five of pentacles is saying that our poverty mentality is taking over. It's robbing us of wealth. It's robbing us of success. It's robbing us of feeling like we've achieved. And we have this energy that's crowning us. Now it's interesting. We can have a bit of a, a disconnect with a Leo energy. So be mindful about this. Or if we have Leo in our chart, Leo in our, our, our lives, just be aware that this could be a very, this could be a little bit difficult. Okay. With this fire energy here, this is also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? So if we have, excuse me, if we have this energy in our chart, we, we can feel blocked, okay? Wherever this energy shows up in our chart, we can just feel stuck. We have a really good relationship with pentacle energy. That's earth sign energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? If we have that in our chart, if we're born on the cusp with Taurus, that comes through very, very powerfully. If we have, you know, earth sign energy in our life, that also comes through very powerfully. And with cancer energy. If we're born on the cusp of cancer, if we have cancer energy in our life, in our chart, that comes through very powerfully as well. But here, there's just a sense of might equals right. And it doesn't work for us. It doesn't work for us. We would like it to work for us that we could just like force things and make things be the certain way that we want them to be. And it, it works for others. It does work for others. But if you're here and you're a Gemini that has found this channel, and you're just a little bit different than the rest of the world. You're, you're more empathic. You're more compassionate, more sensitive to things. It does not work for you. So just be aware of this. You also don't see yourself as strong. You actually right now might be seeing yourself as very, very weak. And I'm here to tell you that's a lie. That's a lie. You are astoundingly strong. The fact that you don't see it probably frustrates people that are around you. It's time to release a poverty mentality. And this is a poverty mentality where you're like, it started when you were young, right? It started with like, I can't have this because. And every time you get to a place where it's like, I've proven that wrong, you get scared and then you fall back into it. Instead of being one of those people who is like, you you prove them wrong and then you, or, or you could always just look at it like over your shoulder. But some, it's like, some have it that they fall back into the poverty mentality. It's like, oh, I don't get to have this. So they kind of let it go. And others, they're always looking over their shoulder, sure that everything's going to fall apart in the next five seconds. So they have to keep on pushing harder, pushing harder. Either way, it's not enjoying life. 
with the page of pentacles earth sign energy again taurus virgo capricorn we are planting seeds we are going to be a student a plus planting seeds of prosperity success and bounty pay attention to your dreams your dreams hold a lot of answers pay attention also to your root chakra there can be I, I don't know why I'm seeing a bit of a blockage, like in the root chakra kind of tailbone area. So just be mindful about that here. There is a sense here of moving towards your passion, being a student of what you want to develop. You need to take your emotions by the horn. I mean, this is going to be a time where you need to rein things in, right? And you are reining things in. You are embracing the God of the sea. You know, Mamanan sentiment of life. It's like I rein it in and I control it. And it's not saying that I don't get to feel because feelings are astoundingly important, but it is saying that my feelings do not get to control me. My emotions do not get to, do not get to control me. And for a person who is highly sensitive, empathic, you know, psychic, spiritual, sometimes we get hit by the world and it just knocks us for a loop, especially if we have also things going on in our own personal lives, this can knock us for a loop. So just knowing now with the state of the world, with everything that's going on, if you are feeling a little bit raw, if you are feeling a little bit sensitive, that's completely normal. Don't think, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with me. No, know that we can't live there in that emotion that will rip us apart. But here we're reining things in, we're pulling things together, we're moving forward in love and compassion and kindness. And we're seeing that God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe has handed us a gift of passion of creativity, of fire, of determination. We take it. Memenon has wands in his hands. We take this gift, but with the queen of wands, we don't take this gift. We don't see our magic. We don't see our fire. We don't see our passion. You know, we're, we're questioning ourselves. Do I even get to show up at the table? That is a huge question during this time. And for us, you know, whenever you come across this reading, that is the question that we're asking ourselves. Do I even matter? Do I even get to show up? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Absolutely. This is on pause. A pause is not, it stopped forever. A pause is just, hey, it's taking a moment. And that's okay. Life takes a moment. Let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a shamrock emoji in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced in a completely separate video. That video will go up on Sunday. So good luck to everyone. And if you're yeah, and hit the bell notification so that you're notified when that video comes up so you can know if you want or not. Let's see here, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is celestial. Yeah, you are affected by the planetary movements. You are affected by celestial things so much more than you think you are. I mean, you really are. The like, check out your astrology. Astrology can become very, very, very important to you. I think it's lovely. You are more affected by things, by solar flares, the the phases of the moon than you think you are. And so if you started to look at that and you started to say, okay, listen, what type of moon is it? Like, you know, where are we here? Like, how are the planets aligned? You would be surprised at how you move forward. You'll also see a pattern in days. Okay. I know that sounds funny, but you know, a pattern in in the way that you move forward, also a pattern in your your feelings towards seasons is also very, very interesting. Be aware of this. You are more connected to the way the world is moving than you think you are. And that also means that you are more connected to the chaos in the world than you think you are. And that that's hard. That's hard. Show yourself grace. Let's see our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Ooh, we have three. Ooh, chatty Kathy over here. So we have two crown chakras coming through. We have spiritual awakening and we have peace. So here our spiritual awakening is reversed. We are also, we can, yeah, we are also in a spiritual awakening as, as a humanity. So being aware of this and that we're resisting it because it's draining on us. We are probably more spiritually aware than, than most. Okay. And so this we can find to be exhausting. So knowing that we need to embrace our crown chakra and embrace our crown chakra with peace because that will bring forward the spiritual awakening that will lead us in a direction that we need to be in. Our third chakra, embracing, listening. This is not about chatting. You know, this is going to be a time where we use our Mercury energy because we're ruled by Mercury. 
which is a great talker. You know, we're a great talker. We're a great, you know, kind of um, communicator. Okay. But here, be a fantastic listener. Okay. And we can be amazing at that because how do you communicate with people? How do you give them what they want? You listen to them. How do you, you know, really engage with somebody? You listen to them. Embracing that, Gemini, holy guacamole dip, you will be astounded at how far you go. You will be astounded at the way the world opens to you. It, you will be the bee's knees. I mean, seriously, it will be so cool. And you will be so powerful. And it's just your listening. And you'll also see that in your creative endeavors, you stop listening. And I'm not calling you out. I'm not saying that's bad, wrong, you know. But somewhere along the way, life got hard. We fell into a poverty mentality. And we didn't see ourselves strong as anymore. And so we stopped listening to ourselves. Because you know what? If you, if you F up once, right? You're just going to do it again and again and again and again. Stop that. Stop that. You need to listen to your soul, to yourself, to the way you're moving forward for you. Because you will be astounded at what comes forward. Embrace peace. peace. Crown yourself with peace. Our subconscious, not subconscious, our energy to be mindful of, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. The Wheel of Fortune. Be mindful, okay? Because you're entering into a new season of your life, a new spiritual awakening. You know, that's what we were talking about here. You're entering into a new spirit of your, a season of your life. And it can be scary. It can be overwhelming. It can be like, oh my gosh, no. Like, no, 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 no. It's, it's like, I have to finish this first or I have to do that first or, you know, things can't be changing or I, I don't know why there's just fear around it, but there is. And know that what you're entering into is what you're afraid you'll never have. And that, okay, that's the humdinger because what we're entering into, be mindful of it because spirit is telling us, not spirit is telling us, there is some force around us. There's some way that we're having it in our heads. I'll never have that. And I always think that when we fear something the most, like when that terror just like comes up within us, it's when it's written into our chart. You know, it's when we, we either have experienced something where then we're afraid because it's, it's woken us up to like, oh, I should be afraid of that. Right. Or it is, it is something that is supposed to happen. So like in relationships or when we're looking for somebody, when we're at that point where I'll never find somebody, I, I'll, I'll never be there, you know, it'll never be. And then you wind up meeting someone. But you have to be mindful when you're in that place because the person that you can meet might be a person who takes advantage of you feeling like I'll never meet somebody and they can like sense that out. They can smell it. Whereas we're supposed to meet somebody and we need not be afraid, you know? So just be aware of that. I hope that makes sense. Strength. We are way more powerful than we think we are. This is might equals right. We have had also enough of things kind of being forced on us, being bullied around. Just know that we're kind of exhausted, all right? But you are a heck of a lot stronger than you think you are. You're also going to find allies in the most unlikely places or ways to move forward. Like just it's going to be so unlikely. Our greatest strength is going to be in, in a connection with ourselves. This is going to be a time, again, we don't feel strong. Actually, we feel astoundingly weak, astoundingly small. That's where the poverty mentality comes in. We're on the outside looking in. It's something we so desperately want. We, we hunger for prosperity, success, bounty, abundance, what we value as much as money. And it's like everybody else gets to have that but me. Be mindful about this because there, there's just some sort of like mind game going on here, okay? And we need to be mindful of falling into that that trap of you're right, right? Everybody else gets to be successful, but I'm not worthy of this. I don't get to have this. Why the heck not? Because we've lost our mojo. We've lost our passion. We've, you know, started started to doubt ourselves like fundamentally. And so we, we're barring ourselves from prosperity and success. It does not mean we'll have the, the you know, mansion on the hill. What it means is that we get to get, live a good, prosperous life. And we get that. There are people who have been with us through this journey. 
whether they're on the other side or whether you can see them walking right beside you now. Just know that. But also know that you're carrying with you. It feels like a generational curse, okay? And I know curses get thrown around and generational curses get thrown around and it's like, you know, okay, nonsense. But it's almost like we're taking things and we're saying, well, this happened and then that happened and then that happened. And of course, I don't get to live in the prosperity that I want. Like I don't get to have the the bounty, the prosperity, the success that I want because it's never been, it's never been our lot. And you are shattering that now. But what you are afraid of is that you're going to be barred from the success you know that's in your soul. And that is why you are a student of your prosperity. This is a time to plant the seeds and also start to plant the seeds in your mind that you are absolutely 159 million percent worthy of success, prosperity, and abundance because that's right here. We are a student of prosperity. This is a time for us to learn. This is a time for us to gather. This is our time for us to plant these seeds and move forward in our emotions, in our determination, our heart, our expression. That's what, what makes us special, Gemini. And it's moving forward. It's reigning in, in the chaos that can be around us. And it's moving forward towards what is so absolutely important to us. And do not listen to the outside world. Okay? When they say, oh, you can't because of XYZ, do not listen to the outside world. Prosperity and success. I mean, okay, prefacing with listen, don't don't put yourself in a dangerous situation, right? But you know what your soul is guiding you towards. And this is a time of honing it. And it's embracing the ace of wands, prosperity, success, bounty, abundance, letting your passion, letting your sh fire shine through because you haven't been. You know it. There's almost a sense of like you've had premonitions almost or these, these this way of seeing things and you know what to be squashing in order to not move forward the way that you dream of. And I know I, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's what's coming through. It's like, if I do this, the door's open. So I'm not going to do that. Like, that's scary. That's overwhelming. But now it's time to do it. Now it's time to do it because now it's time to open up that door. Because what do you have to lose? It's time to open up that door and embrace your success and your fire and your power and your magic. Because you're magic, Gemini. Yeah. And it's time to see that because we're not seeing it. And we can spend our whole time on this earthly plane not seeing it. That would be a crying shame. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of. Yeah, <laughs> Harmony reversed. Not being in harmony with ourselves. Be mindful about that. Our subconscious chakra energy is rebirth. We are transforming. Didn't spirit just say that? I can't remember. Didn't spirit just say we're being reborn? It's embracing the earth star chakra. It's being reborn. It's seeing ourselves move forward in a way that we hadn't expected. Stop listening to everybody else. They don't get to write your story. They don't get to live your life. And they'll judge you. Fine, whatever. They judge everybody. But God forbid they be judged. <laughs> Our subconscious energy to be mindful of. Oh, that's exactly what we were talking about. The world. Ah, the world in its ways. Let them let them judge. And we're also going to think like it's all about the outside world, right? It's all about the outside world. It's not. It's all about our world within us. And how we are connecting with the outside world. Our subconscious tarot message is the fool reversed. We are afraid. It is fine to be afraid. We are beating ourselves up because we, we think we are a coward. Okay? We don't think we're strong. We are. With the fool reversed, we are afraid to take that leap of faith. We are afraid that we will be fool foolish. But will it not be more foolish not to take our gifts, not to move them forward, not to say, this is me. This is what I'm going after. That would be more foolish than leaping forward towards our success and towards our prosperity. We might fall. We might fail. Get up and do it again. Get up and go after what your soul is calling you towards because your soul is calling towards you. It is. It's pulling you forward. 
All right. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So before, oh, and let's, let's note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Gemini. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.